Hey everyone, welcome back to Monterey, California. Toby Fernie with Caldwell Banker Realty here. If you are new to Monterey or you're coming to the area for a visit and you're looking for that Instagrammable moment to make all of your friends and family jealous, stay tuned because I will be going over the five best views here in Monterey, California. If you're new to the channel, it is all about real estate and living here in Monterey, California. If you can hit the like button and subscribe, that is always greatly appreciated. I'm gonna be going over the five best views here in Monterey County that you're gonna to have to check out for yourself when you come to town. Number five, Del Monte Beach. At the top of Del Monte Beach, there are a set of picnic tables. It is one of my favorite places to come have lunch it overlooks Monterey Bay, and you're gonna have views anywhere from Monterey all the way to Santa Cruz on a clear day. Number four, Asilomar State Beach and Lover's Point. The reason that I'm putting the two of these together is that they are along the same line, probably just a two minute drive apart from one another, and it's on the same line that you get if you are going down 17 mile drive. You really can't go bad anywhere along 17 mile drive once you get into Pebble Beach, if you're a tourist, there is a $10 charge to enter through the gates. So if you come to Lover's Point or Asilomar State Beach, you're gonna be able to see these views for free. One of my favorite spots to read a book or catch sunset is this little bungalow here that is right along the coast. Number three, Carmel Beach. If you are stopping in at Carmel by the Sea, you for sure need to make a trip down to Carmel Beach. There is a viewing deck at the top of the beach that I love to stop at any time before I go down to the beach. There are views of Carmel all the way over to Pebble Beach. Asilomar State Beach usually has better waves than Carmel Beach, but every once in a while, you'll get some tasty waves at Carmel Beach too. Number two, Point Lobos State Park. This is the only view on the list that you're gonna have to work for a little bit. It is not a hike by any stretch of the imagination, but you are gonna have to walk in order to get those coastal views that you'll get in some of these other places. You might even break a sweat. But once you get to the coastline, the juice is well worth the squeeze. There are beautiful views of Carmel, Pebble Beach, and most of Monterey Bay at Point Lobos. Number one, the Bigsby Bridge. As I mentioned earlier with 17 mile drive, you really can't go wrong anywhere along the Big Sur coast. When you enter Big Sur, there is a sign that says hills and curves for the next 63 miles. It really should say beautiful hills and curves for the next 63 miles. Who do I gotta talk to about getting that changed? One of the most iconic spots along the Big Sur coast is the Bigsby Bridge. If you're coming to Monterey County, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to stop at the Big Speed Bridge. The views are breathtaking. Careful as you drive along Big Sur, as there are going to be a lot of people driving slowly, pulling over to take pictures without turning their signals on. And then of course, there's gonna be a host of people taking their goofy selfie photos at the Bigsby Bridge. If you are looking for a beautiful place to watch sunset or have dinner or a drink along the coast, I would recommend Nepenthe Restaurant. If you have any questions about real estate, living here in Monterey, California, or you're ready to find your dream home here in Monterey, feel free to give me a call or send me a message at toby.fernie at gmail.com. Subscribe and stay tuned for future content all about real estate and living here in Monterey, California.